Hello, this is Mrs. Shecky, coming from her kitchen and the slow cooker. I am cooking slow cooked red wine braised short ribs. Easy peasy. Take your bone in short ribs. Put them in some bacon grease like I did because I like bacon. Although you don't have to have bacon grease, but I had to have bacon grease because I like bacon. Season up that meat before you put them in that bacon grease. Brown them on all sides. When they're done, it only takes about three minutes on each side. So easy. Put them in your slow cooker. Cut up your carrots, your onions, celery, and garlic. Chop them up to about one inch pieces. Put them in the same pan you just browned the beef in. Let it get some of that juice from the meat. Let it get some of the bacon grease. It won't be much in there. Just get it. Depends on how fatty your beef is. Put it in the slow cooker after just a few minutes. Don't need to cook long because it's going to be cooking most of the day in the slow cooker. Add a cup of beef bouillon. I guess you don't have to add beef bouillon, but I like beef bouillon with beef. So I add about a cup of beef bouillon. Then I'm going to add another cup of red wine. Now this particular red wine is what I like as a table wine for every day. Get it at the local grocery store. And it's very good, very dry. And it goes with pretty much all beef, which I like too. So anyway, let's go back to the pot. We're going to pour that in. When we get that poured in, here we go. Might as well just pour it in right now, right? Let's pour that in right there. Look at that. That looks good just poured in right there, and it's not even cooked. Okay, so then we go ahead, maybe pour a little bit of salt and pepper in. I'd put maybe a teaspoon in already. I don't, I'm not going to put any in right now, but I put about a teaspoon of salt and pepper. I like to salt later on in the game. Because I've already seasoned the beef. Now it's just time to wait. So what do we do now, people? We wait for a few hours. Depending on the slow cooker and its temp, I have it on low. We might be going from three to four, maybe even five hours. I'm going to check it in about two and a half hours and add another cup of red wine and then go from there. I might even add some beer. I'll talk to you all later. Okay, I'm a couple of hours into this and I'm taking the top off has a lot of liquid in it so I'm going to put a teaspoon of tomato paste in it I could have done this earlier maybe should have but it's really not going to do too much for the taste as far as differing between times get it all off the teaspoon there it's just going to add a little pizzazz to everything. I can feel the meat ooh, getting nice and soft right there. The veggies are holding up really well. And look at all the gravy I'm going to have. So I don't know if I'm going to put another cup of wine in it. And uh, I'll see you back in another couple of hours. Okay, I think we are there close to it. Put that over there. And let's just see what we have. Look at that. We're good and close. I want this to fall off the bone. So I'm going to say we, oh no, it's pretty, yeah, look at that. We're there. We're right where I want to be. Yeah. I can't even grab it. Okay. So, 
I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to take some of the juices out and make a gravy. The veggies held up really good. Look at that. Still, carrots are still round, not mashed. I could go a little more on the meat. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Just, I have another hour-ish. But I don't think it'll be that long. I think it'll be good. Anyway, I've tasted the sauce. It's delish. I don't need any salt. The ketchup, not ketchup, the tomato paste was a good add-in. I actually added one more teaspoon of it in and uh, made it a little richer and blended the flavors a little more with the bay leaf and the thyme I added in. So there you go from Mrs. Shecky's Kitchen. I think I just have to wait and plate. So here we are, we are done and ready to eat. So I'm gonna scoop some out. I'm using the tongs here. I'm gonna take a big guy, I made it. So, oh yeah, look at that. Just goes right into it. Put it here. I'm gonna take two. No, that's too big. I'll take another one. Oh, that's big too. That's really big. I'll go back to this one. There we go. It's falling off the the bone. Oh, nice too. I'm not a plater. Okay. I just I've tried. I mean I can photograph, but I can't plate. So Anyway, there's a bay leaf there, you see that. We'll get that out. But one handed here. Now, what I did here is I put a little bit of wine in a mason jar and shook some, about a teaspoon of cornstarch. And wine together and then put it in about halfway through to thicken it up a bit. That way it saved me from making gravy and dirtying up another pot. There goes the wine bottle. Luckily I corked it. All is good. Look at that. And that glass of wine, that cup of wine that should have gone in here is now going in there to go in my belly. So here's this, and we're gonna walk over here. Oh, it looks so delish, and there's lots of gravy, and I love gravy. So I made, I wanted to make polenta. I couldn't find any in my pantry. I didn't want rice, I didn't want a potato, so I made a little bit of cornbread. And I cut it diagonally because I'm one that likes a crispy corner. So here we are. There's my din din. And there's a crispy corner for everyone. There you are. Wine, slow cooked short ribs. And while I got you here, let's just see. The carrots stay together. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so hot. Mmm. So good. I'm ready to eat. I need two hands to do that, though. So, thanks for joining me on this little funky little video. But... It was well worth it. Enjoy. See you later from Mrs. Shecky's Kitchen to you.